Sectoral allocations of the budget are education 24.6 billion naira, health 14.1 billion naira, government buildings 21 billion naira, roads and bridges 30 billion naira, youth and social development 5 billion naira, environment 8 billion naira, agriculture 4.6 billion naira, water resources 1.2 billion naira, and electricity 2.7 billion naira. The budget proposal also included technology enhancement 7.6 billion naira, enhancing working environment 15 billion naira, tourism and development of Benin Cultural District 2 billion naira and administration of justice 5 billion naira amongst others. The 2022 project is centered on reinforcing a sense of belonging in the citizens and providing them with the opportunity to understand, participate and contribute to the governments. We are providing our people with an oasis of hope even Edo State Governor Mr. Godwin Obaseki said that the budget was meant to ensure more investment in human capital development, consolidate on the reforms in the civil service, amongst other areas of priority. The governor said the appropriation bill christened budget of renewal, hope and growth seeks to stimulate economic growth and sustainability of the state, adding that it would be the first time the capital expenditure put at 118 billion naira was more than the recurrent at 95.9 billion naira. This, he said, is based on the crude oil benchmark of $57 per barrel and a total projected internally generated revenue of 50.3 billion naira to be generated through tax reforms and other creative options. High points was the presentation of the 2022 appropriation bill to the parliament for consideration and passage. Speaker Marcos Onobun assured that the legislature would give the proposal expedited passage to ensure its prompt implementation. Our government will work with you to help take our states not just the next level, but to a greater height. In an interview, Majority Leader Henry Okwarobo, Chairman House Committee on Budget and Appropriation, Ephraim Alovsel, and a former Permanent Secretary, Minister of Agriculture, Bashir Kadiri, who witnessed the budget presentation, comment. For the first time in uh, over eight years, that we have a budget that has more for a capital expenditure than recurrent. I'm going to sit back with my committee, uh, digest what is in it, and uh, if there are areas we feel that we need to address, uh, we will do that. If we have a government that is proactive and futuristic, my parliament must be there to give him all the support. When the governor was going through his um, budget, when he mentioned about women, we were all very happy. We were excited. The bill was subsequently given its first reading by the clerk of the house, Audu Yaya Omobai, and referred to the Committee on Rules, Business and Government House to slate it for consideration on a later date. Kingsley Uchebu reporting.